Okay, let's hack some folio scope files. So first, you're gonna want to get the archive, which is a dot folio scope file. You can do that from within the app and then send it over using OneDrive or something. So then once you get the folio scope file, you can change folio scope to just zip. I'll we'll pop this up and it looks like it doesn't actually do anything to the file except for make it so you can open it. Blah. And then once you got it open, you can take these and just drag them out into here. Yeah, I already did that. And once you do that once, you don't need to do it again. You can just keep using the same same folio scope archive. And then I'm not sure if it's different for everybody, but Xcode might be different for the basic startup file. But for me it was like I, I did a lot of research looking through the files, taking notes, and figuring out colors and then making a palette and a bunch of stuff. So this is like what it looks, th this is like what it was with the empty file for me. With the E0 on there, yeah. So that whole section is the beginning of a folio scope file for the frame. I'll show that in a second. But so these are like more notes. Notes and notes and notes. But then, I eventually got it to work, so basically, you go into one of your frame files, that's what this is, dinkf, just a folder, and then you'll have the bottom, I think this is the bottom layer, and then this is the top, can't really remember, but if you edit with notepad, you can get like a string of hex code. So if you go plugins, hex editor, view and hex. So, like I was saying before, up to here, this section is always going to be that. So if you just keep full uh, like a file like this where it's kind of empty you can just keep using it so what I basically do is you're gonna have to have the data for the to replace all the stuff after it because this is all individual pixels and that goes through there's a bunch of hex and then you basically have to find a, f a PNG or something that you want and then bring up a sprite or some sort of bitmap editor and then I'm just gonna drag this guy in here yeah <laughs> so basically going to have to change this to be the right texture and the right size so I'm pretty sure it's 640 by 480 for the image size so if I go sprite I'll just do canvas size because I think it's around yeah it's around right size so I'll do 640 480 and then okay, so that's the size of a folioscope picture. And then I'll just grab a color over here or something and fill this. Yeah. Okay, so now once you got that, 
you're gonna want to go frame and then wait now it's uh where is it color mode but you're gonna have to do you're gonna <laughs> uh, I always have hiccups so you're gonna want to get some sort of folio scope palette I made this one and I think for some reason it needs to have that many empty spaces after it I can't remember but so you're basically going to be using these colors in this order and that's what's worked for me although I think the black somehow sometimes doesn't show up when you import it don't know why but so we're gonna want to go into sprite color mode and change it to index so now the bitmap is gonna be indexed that is creepy <laughs> what? Uh, okay um, you can always play with the um, where is it edit adjustments brightness and contrast Yeah, this is it's gonna be creepy. Let's try that. Spray color mode index. Still gonna be creepy, but <laughs> yeah, okay. And then we can, if you want, like just go through and fix stuff up. So I guess I'll do that. I'll just grab. Get some of these going. I think that'll work. <laughs> so now that we got that, we'll just go file export, and then we'll have to save it as bitmap. So BMP file. Okay. So we'll do that and export. Now we got that image as a bitmap. So next we have to edit with Notepad or whatever hex editor you're using. And I think I figured out. I don't see it there, but. You'll have to go and look at your hex, and then I think it starts at 436. Yeah, 436. Address 436. So you're going to want to cap copy everything from here below. For me, notepad kind of crashes if I try to copy the actual hex here so I just select this area here and then go back to plugins hex editor switch that so now I know exactly where it is there and then I'll scroll all the way to the bottom copy everything and then control C copy that and then start here 
but go back to hex editor so I'm going to copy everything after the or take everything after this or I can here yeah it's right there right before the, all the STXs go down and replace all of that and then control save so now this image I mean this little F2 file here has been changed to the, our new image so all we have to do now is go back and then select the frame folder and the frames plist and we'll send this to a compressed zipped. So now all we gotta do is rename it to what we want. Nick I don't know how you actually spell his name. Nick in ah okay. And then we'll do dot folio scope. Yes, we do want to change it. So now we can just send that back to our iPad app and then re import it. So that's it. Enjoy.